At number 15, it's the alarm pterosaur from the DSS sauropod, Terry Alarmosaurus. Yes, she's been a staple of several books with her cries of Red Alert Squawk! But in the dreams of dread, she is kidnapped. <gasps> it's a pretty tense, scary moment, and it's there at number 15. At number 14 is Griffin, a very gruff baryonyx who's uh, pretty nasty. He tends to think with his fists and his tail, likes whopping people on the head quite a lot, uh, which makes him quite tricky to have a conversation with because he will try and whop you on the head. Just go whop! Ow! Like that. Ow! At number 13, it's my favourite monster, the Craggle Scruncher. Uh, he's pretty deadly. In fact, he was recently voted deadliest ever deadly thing in the whole history of deadliness, with his giant fist sticking out of the top of his spiky head body thing, and his massive mouth crammed with fangs, and his one foot with thirteen bloodshot eyed toes. He's, uh, he's one of the most colourful, fun and scary of the Ashrasaur's foes. They're in the Space Ghosts, and he turned up again in the Dreams of Dread. At number 12, it's Alas, the sauropod's plucky security chief. Uh, she's an ankylosaur, she's got a massive big bony club-like tail that she uses to devastating effect against the sauropod's many foes. In the planet of peril, she has a run-in with some mammoths and cement shooters, which is pretty hairy, but she comes out fighting. At number 11, it's Papa Claus the dinosaur equivalent of Santa Claus. Yes, every Christmas, Papa Claus travels all around the Jurassic Quadrant on a space sleigh, distributing presents through various clever high-tech means. Uh, he lives on Xmas, a strange candy cane-shaped asteroid near the North Pole Star. And in the claws of Christmas, we discover that uh, yeah, some nasty stuff is afoot threatening Papa Claus himself. It's pretty severe. It's a pretty good book. And uh, Papa is there at number 11.